Aries, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly read for the week of May the 9th through to the 15th. General reading will not resonate with every Aries propensity person out there. If the message does not resonate, please feel free to check out any of the other 11 videos of the other placements. You may find messages there. This is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. All my contact info is in the description box. And welcome back to all my new and old subscribers. We're going to jump right in. We've got one card out. Also going to get a work your light, a moonology, and a animal oracle at the end just to give you some more guidance for the week. Alrighty, two cards out. What else do we have for Aries? May 9th through to the 15th. Whoa, perfect. Okay, interesting. All right, bottom of the deck, we have Major Arcana, the High Priestess. Who are we not talking to? Okay, High Priestess is usually a very secretive energy. A woman of very few words, I like to say, right? Highly intuitive, highly connected. You don't even really need to say anything to her because she kind of already knows. It's like, she don't trust you anyway, so there's no point in really lying. You know what I mean? This could definitely be the energy you're in, someone around you is in. Um, but um, having an inner knowing about something and maybe not very, maybe not speaking on it quite yet. All right. Your first card out, past position, is Major Arcana, the Devil card. Capricorn energy could be dealing with a Capricorn, have that in your chart. But this is some sort of attachment, right? An attachment to something. You had an attachment to something. Someone had an attachment to you. There was a situation, person, place, thing that was attached to you. They depended on your energy, which is toxic, right? Okay, moving along. So now that we have established that there was something that you were attached to that was probably not too healthy for your mind, body, or soul justice coming in underneath that okay libra energy could be dealing with the libra but this is karma being served karma being written right okay whatever you dish that's what you get so if anything was toxic and balanced you know good old universe came in laws of the divine came in and brought out the rule book and determined that this was not this was this was invalid see the sword he's got yeah, you see those chains that these two people are chained together by? Yeah. Yep, this guy mm -hmm, uses that sword and cuts through the chains. Because, you know, we don't do low vibrational attachment situations, right? We are high priestesses. High priestesses. Whoa, ooh, new love coming in. Didn't mean to take that, but we are high priestesses. Especially if we are high priestesses. The universe is going to come in and wipe that right out. Some new love might be coming, though. FYI, side note. Present position, Nine of Cups. Water energy, Cancer Spicy Scorpio with the Seven of Pentacles. So someone wants to offer you something. Now that this old situation is done and cleared up and karma's dealt with it and the, the bond has been broken, or at least you're healing from that, you know, you knew it was broken. You knew it was not good. High Priestess, that's most likely you. Currently, there seems to be something new that you're either interested in investing into or someone is definitely interested in investing in you emotionally. Someone has some feelings here. This is a love offer. This is someone asking you on a date, asking to go for coffee, whatever it may be. You know, FaceTime, whatever, video, whatever, chat, date. Someone's wanting to invest. Someone's wanting to invest, but you... <laughs> Also could be very weary because I did see the Nine of Wands underneath the Ace of Cups. So, I mean, Ace of Cups energy is beautiful energy. So it definitely seems like whatever this offer is from whoever it is, if you are offering someone or wanting to offer someone, um, you know, go out with somebody or there's someone you're interested in, definitely looks like it's Ace of Cups. This is absolute potential emotionally, over, uh, emotional overwhelmment fulfillment but you definitely are guarded you haven't quite given up but <clears throat> you're pretty bruised up right maybe this is why you're withdrawing for now just to connect with your higher self to see if something you want to you know do because it definitely seems like there's someone that wants to 
propose something to you, wants to put in some time, wants to invest in a situation. Future outcome, we have the Nine of Cups and the Five of Swords. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment energy. This is something you've been wishing for. Nine plus the one, guess what? Ten. Ace of Cups, ten. Complete another emotional fulfillment, Ten of Cups. This offer has the potential to give you Ten of Cups energy. But definitely you are wary because of this past toxic situation. Five of Swords, though. Self-sabotage, I think. That's the only other way. The toxicities in the past, justice came in, did what it had to do, wrapped it up in a nice little bow and sent whatever toxic thing, person, place that was in your life down the river, okay, that you already knew was wrong or bad for you because you're the high priestess, most likely. Okay, and now something else is coming in. Someone wants to invest or there's something that you see potential investing in, something that would give you long-term emotional fulfillment, ultimate emotional fulfillment, has lots of potential, Ace of Cups, but there seems to be maybe some self-sabotage or someone is going to self-sabotage this, right? Because this is also, you know, winning at all costs also. Maybe someone wants to win you at all costs, but this could also be self-sabotage. Let's get a Moonology card and see what is going on for Aries. May 9th through the 15th, what do we have for Aries? Messages for their greatest and highest good. But definitely some sort of offer, some sort of communication coming in. Could be from a water sign, Libra, Capricorn. Okay, all right, let me get this one. Take time to breathe out, dismissing moon. Definitely high priestess energy. Some of you are definitely going within, connecting with your higher self. Take time to breathe out. This is definitely high priestess energy. That's what she does. Not quite to breathe out. She takes time to connect with her, her guides, right? Her higher self, her ancestors, her angels, whatever it is for you. Taking that silent time in between making the decision. So you're doing exactly what you're guided to do, which is good. Some of you are not doing that. That is your guidance. Think about it. Connect with your higher self. Connect with your intuition. You know the answer to whatever this proposal is. Definitely seems like it's something you wish for and manifested. Appearing. Materializing. All right. But definitely some weary energy. Wounded. From whatever toxicity this was in your past. One card for Aries, please. Messages for their greatest and highest good. Cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Number 15, which is a six. Abundance. Financial abundance, usually with this card, but this can be any type of abundance, right? Definitely seems like there's some emotional abundance that someone is needing, wishing for, wanting, has wanted, was hoping this past toxic thing was going to be, but didn't end up being. Miracles are endless. Definitely more of this Nine of Cups energy. They kind of look alike, huh? Yeah. So this double wish fulfillment. If you've been wishing for something real, if you've been wishing for something, you know, this definitely has a potential to. Could be dealing, I already told you who we're dealing with. Let's get you a work your light for Aries. Oops. May 9th through the 15th. What do we have for Aries? Time to take. Time to breathe out. Yeah. Miracles are endless. Definitely money's looking good as well. Taurus energy is also good for abundance materialistically, but I definitely think this is some sort of emotional situation. But be careful not to self-sabotage because you manifested this, you wished for this. It definitely has potential to lead to 10 of cups, which is long-term emotional happiness. Okay. Trust the niggle. What is the niggle feeling trying to tell you? See how they look like the high priestess is there? Okay, you already know. You already know, Aries. 
Your intuition is guiding you. This is a Ace of Cups situation. I understand that whatever happened in the past has you like this. But you're not at the 10 yet. You still got that fight in you. Obviously, take all the time you need. See, luck is on your side. The Wheel of Fortune is turning. Whatever you have come out of, that is it. The lessons have been learned. Karma has been served with that Justice card, Libra. That Justice Department came in and dealt with whatever it is you were dealing with. Took it right out because you, your vibration is way too high for this type of thing. Trust the niggle. What is your niggle? What is the niggle in feeling telling you to do? If it's to accept this offer, then accept it. Don't self-sabotage. Because this, these are two very contrasting energies for this to be future energy, future outcomes. So you could either get a wish fulfillment or you could self-sabotage it. Plain and simple. Okay. And then you'd be left bored because we have nine and five, which is a four. Right? So like four of cups. So do not self-sabotage this. Take all the time you need to make the decision you need to make, but it has potential. It does have potential, Aries, okay? Those are the messages I have for you this week. Hopefully they were helpful. Thumbs up if they were, and we will see each other next week. <laughs>